Alright, Shalom. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashiach, Wamalaki Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha, Raka Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach us this 100% truth and labor in this word and doctrine. Enough respect to the brothers pushing this word throughout the four corners of the earth. And Adawan Ratazar, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. So the topic of this lesson will basically be on the fact that the names of the Most High and His only begotten Son are to be exalted. Okay, so we're going to start off in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 1. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak, and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as a small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord Yahweh, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. Okay, and the reason I'm bringing this out is that you know you got certain Israelite groups that know the true names of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, all right, which are Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. Okay, and those groups know who they are. All right, you know, and they don't want to publish it. They don't want it to be made known. They don't want to teach their congregation of those names okay and you know it's our duty to do so because as we prophesy what the lord is doing and what he will do on the earth all glory and all honor and his attributes will be made known throughout the globe okay along with the name of the most high everyone will know that the god the power the true power of abraham isaac and jacob yahweh bahasham yahweh shai will have done this all right and the only way the inhabitants of the earth, okay, will be made aware of this is because of his men, because of his prophets, the elders, and it all starts with our apostles and elders on down at Great Millstone, okay. We're coming in that name, we're preaching in that name, we're reaching in that name, and ultimately believing in that name, okay, because it's one of the first, or is the first, and the most important thing you can learn when you first come into this truth okay let's get a precept in Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 9 and it reads and the Lord Yahweh shall be king over all the earth in that day shall there be one Lord Yahweh and his name one okay so it's important that we you make it known who our true living power is okay because all these other names like Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahuwah, Allah, Buddha, Vishnu, Krishna, Yeshua, and especially the, the most famous one of them all, Jesus Christ, which I hate saying, hate saying that. They're all false gods. They're all false deities with no power to them whatsoever. Okay. The Most High, pursuing to Psalms 96 verse 5, made the idol gods, made these idol gods, for all these heathen nations to serve okay you know and the letters in these other names like e u v or f or j they're not in the paleo hebrew alphabet okay so that's how we know those names that's another reason why we know those names are false okay let's go to the book of proverbs uh chapter 18 you'll know where i'm going with this verse 10 the name of the Lord Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know, knowing these names and believing on them in truth, hope, faith and sincerity. Alright, that will get you delivered and saved from destruction. Alright. Now we know there are scoffers and people who mock Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Of course. Okay. But that's to their own detriment. <laughs> Best believe those very same people who hear the name of the Lord. At some point, they'll have to respect that name, okay, when judgment comes. But, you know, we only know, sorry, we know, all right, that on this side, the elect of the nation of Israel will call on those names, okay? So I say that to say this, no matter how you put it, we are not to hide the name of the Lord and His only begotten Son. Okay, that's part of this gospel, that's part of this truth. That's actually a part of the revealing, okay? 
Yahweh meaning he exists, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, he is, or used to be. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, meaning he saves, he delivers. So let's go to Psalms 22. And verse 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren in the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. Alright. And when we're constantly teaching on the highways and edges and when we're doing our lessons, our videos, that's why we're always referencing Yahweh Baal Yahweh Shai. That's how we start off our lessons, praising Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai and end our lessons, praising Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Closing in and closing out camp. Starting camp and closing camp. Okay. Even when we're praying, we use those names. Those very same names. Okay. Not supposed to be, you know, the highway shouting out Jesus Christ and God and this, that and the third. Alright. We're supposed to be proclaiming Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai throughout the earth, wherever we sky at. Okay. Because especially now we're at that time. Right, none of these other nations will be able to give credit to their false god, to their idol. Because they'll know that it was in fact the Lord Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai that did this. Okay? That brought judgment. Because you know, it's brought throughout his uh, his men. His men are, you know, exalting exalting the one true living power. Alright? They'll see the Lord work. Alright, his prophets, you know, that brought forth the word. That's how these nations are gonna are gonna hear and know that their power, their true God, that they came and preached in, is to be feared and rever and reverenced. So let's go to Isaiah forty eight and precept and verse five. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee, before it came to pass I showed it to thee, lest thou shouldest say, mine idol hath done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. Okay. You know, so when we teach about the, you know, the MOTV, the digital all, okay, the destruction of America, World War Three, the coming of Yahweh Shai, and the restoration of the nation of Israel, we do all these things in the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai. And we let the people know that the Lord is going to do these things. Right? And it's not of us. Right? We're just vessels. Okay? We're just vessels used by the Lord. But it is its power. It is the Lord's power, sorry. Okay? It's Him that will do these things and that has done these things. Okay? He's brought judgment. And we've seen it played out on earth right now. Through the power of his word and his prophecies, nobody can say it was, you know, Allah or Buddha. All right, when we're bringing out <coughs> these prophecies and, you know, <coughs> proclaiming the name of the Lord, right, teaching and edifying the hopeful elect. All right, only God, will, only the true power, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai will be made known and, rev and revered okay so thank you for that even the in fact the phone had to agree with me there that's the spirit <laughs> okay you know no other god no other allah or buddha or vishnu okay is gonna <coughs> they're all dead <laughs> that's not gonna be <laughs> exalted in the end we'll see that's why the names, right? Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, as well as the word together, correctly and rightly divided. Okay, actually complement and identifies Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, let's get John. John uh, 12. We'll jump down to verse 28. Okay, so now this is Yahweh Shai speaking. Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven saying, I have both glorified it and will glorify it again. Alright? So when the Lord's name was glorified, you know, in Egypt, it was published alongside the works. Alright, that's how it was glorified. That's how the nations, alright, that were far off, even began to fear. 
okay the works as along with the name alongside it that's how it was glorified all right that's how these other nations yeah that's when they started to be like wow you know they feared the name they feared yahweh about shimei shai all right because his name his name was made known of course they knew it so the same thing goes today we have to teach and come in those names because you know it ain't going to be hidden anymore all right respect respect you know will be given to it to those names all right especially when these prophecies these words come to pass all right, and that's taking place you know so i don't want to rattle this vessel very fine it's going to make it short again double honor to the apostles of great millstone all right <clears throat> in closing i'd like to give all praise and all honor and all glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Rukah Kodash. Alright, so keep pushing, keep studying, keep praying. Alright, pray for the apostles and the elders. Pray for one another. With that, Kwam Yashurala, Ababa Ball. Lord willing, we have next. Shalom. Shalom to the elect.